Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Gladys Gladys is a Welsh name, the modern rendition of Gladys, probably derived from the Welsh word glad meaning country. Gladys also became the Berthonified, Celtic Welsh, version of the Latin name Claudia, from Claudius meaning lame, crippled. Gladys enjoyed popularity beyond the Welsh borders, thanks to best-selling English author Weta, the pen name of Maria Louise Rain, who used the name in her 1870 novel Puck. Puck narrates the novel and, as a Maltese dog, passes through various levels of society offering his unique perspective on the Victorian-era British class system. The novel's heroine, Gladys Jarrett, is the idealized personification of the peasant class, an intellectually gifted orphaned farm girl from the old, humble, impoverished, Saxon, race. She is beautiful, talented, and angelic, a lovely character to whom Weta's readers responded. The name quickly jumped the pond over to America in the late 19th century and became a fast favorite in the early years of the 20th century. People also often associate Gladys with the gladiolus flower from the Iris family. From this perspective, the flower's name is taken from a diminutive of the Latin gladius, sword, and so means little sword in reference to the plant's sword-shaped leaves. Personality of the girl named Gladys The number five personality loves the excitement of life and can easily adapt to all situations. As natural adventurers, these personalities thrive on the new and unexpected and prefer to be in constant motion. It makes them feel alive. They'll stir up some action if there's not enough around, and as inherent risk-takers, they enjoy pushing the envelope. Naturally rebellious, the five personality has no fear and never resists change. Traveling and new experiences feed their souls. Fives are very social and attract friends with ease. People love to be around the five fun-loving and exciting energy. This is also a lucky number in numerology, like the threes, so fortune seems to shine on them, helped along by their own optimism and good nature. Fives have a quick wit, a cerebral mind, and are generally very persuasive. Popularity of the girl named Gladys Highly fashionable for her day, Gladys was the 11th most popular baby girl's name at the turn of the 20th century in 1901, when names like Helen, Ruth, Florence, and Ethel ruled the top 10. Gladys remained bare stylish from the 19 aughts through the teens, 20s, and 30s. 1938 marked the first year in the 20th century when Gladys wasn't a top 100 favorite in the U.S. From that point on, the name gradually diminished in usage and finally in the year 2000 Gladys was no more, no longer on the top 1000 list, that is. Only 80 baby girls were given the name Gladys in 2012. Although we see a revival of many so-called old lady names from the turn of last century, Emma, Ruby, Hazel, crusty old Gladys isn't making the cut. Yet there's definitely something glad and upbeat about Gladys, and she feels so sweet and wholesome in her old-fashioned way. Also, since Gladys is closely connected to the Welsh word for country, we also find it rather patriotic. Quick facts on Gladys. Gender, girl. Origin, Celtic. Number of syllables, two. Ranking popularity, not applicable. Pronunciation, G-L-A-H dis. Simple meaning, country. Characteristics of Gladys. Adventurous, intellectual, progressive, freedom-loving, adaptable, easygoing, sensual. Cultural references to the baby name, Gladys. Literary characters of the baby name Gladys. Gladys Gerrand is a character in Puck, an 1870 book by Weta, the pen name of Marie-Louise de la Ramy, an eccentric but very popular Victorian romantic novelist. Puck is a wise Maltese terrier who keeps up a running commentary on contemporary mores and social rituals, and the devastating effect they have on individuals. Gladys is an intellectually and artistically gifted farm girl who finds success on the stage, in Lord Vere Beltran's theatre. She is as innocent as she is beautiful, and spurns his attentions until marriage is in the offing, in spite of the social divide between them. Gladys takes to the institution as the proverbial fish to water, being both romantically and sensually in love with her husband. 
Nonetheless, as we know, Victorian women cannot have their cake and eat it, too, and Gladys is forbidden by her husband to continue on the stage. The absence of her creative outlets and the interference of Beltran's former mistress have tragic effects for poor Gladys. Famous people named Gladys Gladys Knight, singer, Gladys George, actress, Gladys Rich, composer, Gladys Smith Presley, mother of Elvis Presley, Gladys Brockwell, early American film actress, Dame Gladys Cooper, English actress, Gladys Vanderbilt Sizza, copyright Cheney, American heiress, 